Hello again, YouTube. My name is Brie, and in today's video, I will be doing a little painting of this little elf mage boy with this set of Mariah Beth and Fineliner Nerd paints and just a few paint brushes as usual. I kind of inspired myself to make this video based on my sketchbook tour last week. Um, basically, I noticed um, I hadn't used these paints in a little bit and I wanted to get back to them and I said I should get back to them soon and I also pointed out that I um, guess I have a thing for vest and I wanted to paint more people in vest which I'm pretty sure is in my last two videos so maybe I'm overdoing it a bit oh well <laughs> um, you know whatever's fun right and while I love working in the sketchbook, um, I do think this video is just a little too like yellow between the color of the background and then the paper itself being that same kind of tan. So sorry, it's, it's not the most pleasant video to look at, but hey, it's a bonus video. So if you were here last week, you saw that I made a sketchbook tour. Normally I post every other week. Um, but I decided to put together a bonus video, partly because I missed a video back in May while I was really busy with my class, and partly because I hit 200 subscribers and I felt that was worthy of celebration. <laughs> so thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. And I'm, I'm glad people enjoy watching me noodle around in the sketchbook. So hello everyone. <laughs> um, Otherwise, I am like super, super tired. I have had the longest week at work and I am just completely drained. I had actually started this painting last week after filming the sketchbook tour. I was like really motivated. I was, you know, I just finished class. I had time. I was like, oh, I'm going to do so much. I'm going to get caught up on my reading, play new video. I bought a new video game, even though I hadn't finished my previous one yet. And then work was like, mm, no, you're not. <laughs> um, we're going to need you to work some ridiculously long hours. So I've been working this weekend. I worked late nights all week and I am completely fried. And I did not mean to talk about that that much, but it's happened. Let's move on. So yeah, this painting, um, I, I showed the end result in the beginning just because this goes through some changes um, between when I started it last week and when I finished it last night. Um, most notably, I decided to just go through and kind of like darken a lot of the clothing. So I went in in the beginning parts and did a lot of like folds in the fabric and carefully built up layers and then pretty much covered it all up. Um, so yeah, what you're seeing now kind of kind of gets hidden later <laughs> um i really don't plan ahead when i'm painting in my sketchbook especially this one this has all just been like i feel like drawing an elf guy because we're talking about elf guys in um a discord community so this is for you rachel um and then we I, like i said with the sketchbook tour i was like yeah i want to draw more vest and i want to use this palette so it just was not really planned out. I just doodled on the couch and then decided to paint it and I really didn't put much thought into the colors going in or you know actually what I was sketching so that's fine. I mean nothing wrong with that. I, I do. I definitely need to spend more time focusing on like creating bigger pieces and thinking through it more. I lost words and train of thought. I got to get to the point where I could actually like plan a piece out and then execute to the plan. And it's something I've been saying I was going to do. It was one of my goals going into this year and it hasn't happened yet. And I know part of that is just, I get really overwhelmed by even the idea of putting that kind of time into something and like not, if I'm going to put all the time into planning to do something big and I'm not, if I'm not enjoying it or I'm not executing like I I think in my head that things are going to be better than when I put it down on paper and I'm always afraid of disappointing myself which yeah I mean you can't disappoint yourself if you don't try <laughs> not not a good motto to live by but 
I just have a hard time getting started and it's it's a step I need to take it's something I want to do I want to work bigger I want to do more so it's coming but you know not today soon we'll get there it's in my notes it's in my journal it's gonna happen it has to happen or I'll be very disappointed in myself um I actually I had this idea in my head for like um a piece I wanted to do of fan art and I thought I would go through the process with it so I'm I feel like I've been reading the series forever um I'm reading Live Ship Traders now by Robin Hobb but I read the Farseer trilogy earlier in the year I think I read the first book in December and then each month I read a different another book and I really want to do a piece for the fool who was my favorite character in that book and I kind of had a scene in my head and I want to put it down and go through the process of doing the thumbnails, doing the studies, um, doing the, the value studies, the color studies, and then actually creating the piece. And I know I want to do that one with like a background in case scene and then the character in either case scene or gouache. And I think the problem is I have it like it's so built up in my head that I have a hard time actually like putting it down because yeah, there's just, I, I, Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sure it makes sense to somebody. But yeah, so that's one of my plans. And it was like going to be my trial piece. And then I was going to do other things like that. So we'll see. I, I just need to shut up and do it because I've said I'm going to do it a hundred times. But yeah, I don't actually have much to say about this piece itself just because it really was just noodling. Um, I... I really have no idea what I was going for. I just went with it and enjoyed the process. Um, the palette I'm using, I've used before on this channel, but it's the Mariah Beth and Fine Liner Nerd palette. It's six colors, um, six half pans, five different colors, and one gold. Um, I do feel that this palette probably wasn't the right choice for this color paper since this is between the the tan of the paper and like kind of the cooler palette I don't think this was the most exciting piece um I I like it a lot on the blue because the cool with the really cool blue paper is just a lot of fun um but I really missed having a warm red while I was painting this I do want to make another little six half pan palette like this using some of the paints I already have. Since I've been on no buy for over six months now, I I felt like maybe I could just make myself up a new little palette and it would like get me all excited again. Um, kind of in the same way new art supplies do, but it's not a new art supply. So it's just if I get an Altoid tin, it's not even a, an expense for a palette. So I, I feel that's a fair trade-off. I just keep forgetting to buy the little Altoid tins while I'm at the grocery checkout, so it hasn't happened yet. But I know when, if and when I make that, I do want that warm red that I, I don't really have here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll go with Alizarin Crimson for my cool red and Indent Throne Blue for my warm blue. I don't know if I'll, I, I'm not sure I have a cool yellow in a two paint so I might still skip that one but we'll see um it's something I will do when I remember to buy the Altoids but if you'd like to see me go through the selection process let me know and I will make a video for that because I think that might be fun otherwise I'll probably do a video using it anyway so otherwise um Hopefully things calm down soon and I can catch up on some sleep and some sanity and start working on bigger things. Um, otherwise, I hope you're all doing well. Um, oh, I did want to talk about one other thing. So at the end here, I don't think I'm here yet. Um, I do start using the gold paint for the background and I really liked doing this. I, I used the gold paint in this palette on its own before, but I knew it wouldn't show up that well on this tan paper, so I mixed it with some of that really like cool pinkish red. Um, I think the color is actually called Rose Garden, and it was really pretty, and it so really kept that shiny sparkliness of the gold. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. So that's another thing I'll probably try is just mixing some of my own 
blends of metallic watercolor using that gold because this gold is a pretty um, pale gold so it doesn't affect the it it desaturates but it doesn't overly impact like the final color too much it made some really cool blends so I gotta try that out more um, but yeah I don't know if I've said anything of value this whole video because I can't keep a train of thought in my head right now. I should probably go back to work too. I don't want to. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty. I'm gonna I'm gonna go sign off now. I've I've talked long enough and I don't even know what I've talked about. But I hope you're all having a wonderful week and that you're staying safe and if you're artist making good art and otherwise i hope to see you in a future video where i have two brain cells to rub together um if there's anything you're interested in seeing um because i know i've been doing a lot of like the same kind of thing with the speed paints and i'm out of sketchbook tours for a while so that's off the table for now but if there's anything you'd like to see to mix it up like when i did the sketchbook tours let me know and i'll see if i could make that happen Otherwise, take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you in a future video. Bye now.